Now we've been really enjoying this new smart electric car. As old as it is, it only has 33,000 miles on it. It's a 2013 Smart 4.2. I think it's the Generation 2 chassis 451. Uh, but anyway, it, it was affordable and it's working. And I'm going to show off what we've been doing with the uh, controller bus on here, the controller area bus or CAN bus. There's you can find a lot of stuff on on uh, the internet about uh, hacking the CAN bus. Fortunately, there was one project uh, that uses a Raspberry Pi and a CAN shield, which uh, helped give a lot of info. So uh, my old project here is the uh, what I call CarPal. It was a hackster contest is AT&T IOT contest uh, it came with a uh, cell phone board connects to the AT&T cell phone network has a NXP K64F you program with the uh, embed uh, website IDE and I have pretty sophisticated uh, sketch or uh, program on there this one I've redone to get the battery amperage. So every 15 seconds, uh, when it's plugged into OBD2 down here, this has the uh, SparkFun OBD2 board in it, which is an STN1110 chip, which is like the ELM327, but with a bit more. Also has a GPS on here. So this thing will grab the uh, battery amperage and location and send that out over a uh, cell phone network to uh, PubNub. And then I have some uh, scripts in the that will save the data in a Mongo database. And then I can output that to a CSV and then convert it to GeoJSON and then uh, plot that on a, a clickable map on a GitHub, a GIST. That works great. Then it gives you all these points of where you were with the timestamp and amperage and you can click on that so you can see uh, going uphill you used a lot of amperage and uh, with this car it has regenerative braking so going downhill it actually shows positive amperages charging it um, so that works uh, thankfully I worked pretty hard on that you can actually in this car just get a generic ELM327 that'll work also, you can connect uh, with the uh, ATSP6 command. That will connect to the CAN bus, and you can uh, you can actually send queries to get battery voltage amps. So that works. Doesn't have the ST commands, but even better. And I just got this: is a CAN CAN shield. This is for the Raspberry Pi. And this is really neat because, for several reasons, the uh, this can it's a Copper Hills Copper Hill technology. It gets power to the Raspberry Pi from the CAN bus uh, from the OBD2 port, which has 12 volts. It's got a little uh, uh, bucking power supply there, and I have it set up for Wi-Fi as a access point, so I can be out in the middle of nowhere and connect to it with a notebook. And the interesting thing about using this device is the CAN bus with socket CAN shows up as as a bus device. So I can do IF config CAN zero, and it'll shows up as a network device. Now we can do something really interesting like a CAN dump. Now, I'm going to switch the ignition on, and now we are monitoring the controller area network bus, and there is just all kinds of data flying around there. If I switch the ignition off, it'll keep going for a few minutes until I hear a relay click, and then, and then it stops. So that's a, a lot of data to deal with. So even better, there's something called CAN Sniffer. That's in here, can sniffer, and this sorts them a little bit better. Each can ID, it uh, keeps track of, uh, I guess since it last saw one. But uh, you can get some interesting things in here. 
So I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove filter, I'm going to filter out everything. Minus yeah, zero, 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 and everything's gone. I'm going to plus, and we're going to look at this thing, the steering wheel angle, which is IDOC2. If we go back here, we hit the plus, I'm going to hit uh, OC2, enter, and... There's the steering wheel angle. If I move the steering wheel angle, you see the first numbers change. Now it's actually uh, kind, of, kind of way off here. I got it to uh, 4300. Zero, zero. Anyway, it's all encoded in there. You can get all kinds of stuff in here. I have just, just begun to scratch the surface. But this uh, CAN bus... Um, adapter here is about 80 bucks uh, Raspberry Pi and let's go back to plus zero 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 there's everything um, and you can get that you can get the the voltage and capacity of each individual cell if you know where to look and that's in that the Arduino sketch but anyway I just want to show off these three devices that can tap in there just the regular old, regular old ELM327 will work. That will give you lots of data to play with if you know where to look. And there's not a whole lot of projects on the smart car, this particular one, the, the Arduino sketch that a fellow worked on. Um, it was for the Generation 3 2015 or so, but it, it's still valid for the, the one I have. But anyway, that's that's I'm, I really like this the the can bus uh, socket cam with can sniffer. I'm going to be spending some time with that.